E-Flight took two of my favorite planes, mashed them together, and now we have this, and it is awesome. I have had a really good time with my maiden flight, although the knees were shaking. Yes, honestly, I was a little nervous. And my follow-up flight was a lot of fun. Abby almost helped me crash that plane. Like my other favorite plane, the Commander, gotta stop listening to my wife. <laughs> so that's a recipe for disaster. Yes, it is. <laughs> And now I'm excited to fly again. My one and only complaint is the flight times are not long enough. They're three and a half, four and a half, five minutes if you're really daring like that last flight, like your Abby. small battery. Uh, for a 4,000 milliamp battery, I'm literally flying on the smallest recommended battery in the previous, flight, previous flights. Today I'm going to fly on a 5,000 milliamp battery. It's not a massive jump, but it is a bit bigger. I'm hoping for an extra minute of flight time. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like much, but when you're in the air for three and a half, maybe four minutes, now an extra 1,000 milliamps might give you another minute. That's like a 25% increase of flight time. That's pretty good. Remember, this can actually fly on a 7,000 milliamp battery. Those things just cost more than my house, so I'm flying on a 5,000 milliamp. <laughs> Having said that, let's put this in the air and see if we can get another 30 seconds to a minute of flight time and a lot of fun. Let's go. One other thing that I just did before this takeoff was add Expo to my control surfaces. So I've got 30% on the ailerons, uh, 25 on elevator and 20 on the rudder. I could maybe do a little bit more, I don't know. I'm just trying to see how this does. I'm gonna taxi this down just a little bit farther than what I normally do. Uh, and see if we can get those wheels up more in front of us. I, I've kind of had a tendency of just enjoying it being on the runway as we like kind of keep it a little bit scale. So I don't know. Um, let's just, I'm trying for a bit of a quicker takeoff today. Abby, are you ready? Ready. Let's put this in the air. I'm easing up the throttle. There we go. That's Ooh, what I wanted. Right in front of the camera. Yeah, that's what I was wanting. It does have a strange tendency to want to uh, veer to the right, just a hair. Every time I get those wheels up, I don't know why. Safe on, safe off, both ways kind of feels that way. So let's do landing gear up, a little bit too straight on there. I don't know, I haven't even really taken the time to properly trim this yet. I've really just been enjoying my <laughs> short flight times and uh, let's go right in for a roll or a loop rather. A little bit sideways and crooked, but I'll still take it into a roll. And there's hands-free. I've got a bit of a right pull on the ailerons, so that might be why it's doing that on takeoff. I'm not really fighting it. You know, once you get the plane in the air, at least for me, I have a tendency to, uh, if the plane's pulling up, I, I can just push down a bit on the stick and not really bother me too much. It's just kind of like, I'm not going to say it's natural, but it, it definitely just kind of comes comes to me. When I hand the controls to Abby on anything that I'm flying, if it doesn't just fly perfectly level uh, when out. she takes her hands off the controls, then she does not enjoy it. So <laughs> I'm pretty picky with my planes. I was just trimming it up there on that pass. It's always smart to have your planes trimmed up especially uh, especially if you're just maintaining them. This is our third flight ever on this. I haven't had any flights off camera, so you know, no progress to be made here without you guys watching. Well, I love a nice roll into a sharp bank like that. Now what I'm gonna do is pick up a little throttle and do a snap up here, Abby. It always eats out the juice, but it's always so awesome. Worth <laughs> it. <laughs> it just does that little tumble it up does. there. And then we can pull up on the elevator. Whew. Maybe a little bit more. You got or... really close to that hill. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of keeping it right in my there. favorite flight pattern. You know, I'm definitely within my little safe feeling safety zone of left hand turns and just bringing it in nice and low over the runway. What a pretty jet. The top and the bottom of this thing is just beautiful. Oh, man. They outdid themselves with this thing. Anyone that loves the 80 millimeter F-16, the gray one, is gonna have to pick one of these up just because it looks so good. I know I talked about this in the maiden flight, but that's not white foam, that's actually painted foam and it is just beautiful. It's beautiful. They took the uh, F-16 Thunderbirds, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, it's 60 millimeters or 70 millimeters, and mashed it together with 80 millimeter uh, F-16. I'm gonna roll over and bring it back down and over the runway. My transmitter vibrated, but that was a steep climb full throttle, so. 
I'll do that again down here so I'm not blinded by the sun. <laughs> Steep climb, roll, pull back on the elevator. That didn't look very good because I didn't give it enough throttle at the top. But everything this jet does looks good. Everything, everything. And this sounds amazing too. Oh, it's so good. This has got to be like their flagship vehicle, I would say. It's definitely your best looking jet you own. Oh, yes. Yeah. I That's do like bet. the paint. It does make it look more clean and just, I don't know, just good. It, it, it does. It, it really does. You don't get that strange like foam glare off of the sun. Yeah. We are getting a longer flight time, aren't we? You're at four and a half minutes since yeah, I started see, I recording. So like a four minute flight. I can already tell. Now, reverse thrust. It's right there. Okay, don't hit oh it right gosh, now. Don't, don't hit it right now. Oh don't hit it right now. You are crazy with We're this We're going to drop this landing gear just so you guys can see it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't fly behind the flight line, Nate. Hey, Safety that, Dan will get on to you. That was... Uh, <laughs> Very strange. I think I had a little speed. I think what's happening is the door creates a little bit of drag and that pulls and that's yeah? why it pulled that way. Okay. Okay. So that would make sense. Yeah. I, I don't know why I felt that more on this than the gray one. My imagination. I, I don't know. That was very strange. We feeling. still have kind of a cross breeze too. Yeah. That's pushing back know. that way. It could have been a small gust of wind up there, but landing gear is down. Oh, I'm seeing spots at the end of the sun. <laughs> There's no low voltage alarm. And so it's definitely time to land. Thank goodness I kind of dropped it in preparation there. Oh, hell. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh oh. Oh, you're scary on this one. I know. It bring it around one more time. Ah. <laughs> it is scary, isn't it? It's because your transmitter's yelling at you. It doesn't help. And vibrating. Oh, oh don't wink it slower. Okay. We got this. We got this, you guys. We got this. We got this. You know why else, too? Oh! I want to do this. You're I'm getting all... Focused. I'm too focused <laughs> on that reverse thrust. To get it. To even yeah. have a smooth landing. My finger's like, come on, reverse thrust. Reverse you may thrust. have scuffed up one of I your wings on that one. I might have scuffed a little one. spot of it, but okay, let's turn that off. Please. <laughs> so here's reverse thrust. I just got to put this in a better spot, I think. Isn't that cool? This breaks. I just have to uh, get better at that because I'm so focused on hitting that switch. It makes my <laughs> landings look super clumsy. That one was not good, but it's... Still fun and an amazing flight. That was a blast. I like to tell you guys where my flight time is and voltage is on flights of something like this because it is so critical, right? Sometimes we get out and fly and we've got something that will have a 15 to 20 minute flight time and the battery's not even remotely low. But having telemetry still helps you keep track of that. And so it's good to go over the flight times and talk about that. But with something like this, it's absolutely critical to know 10 or 15 seconds can be the difference of this coming home in one piece or not. And so my battery on this flight was at 3.65 volts per cell. It's a little low, but it's not so low that we're hurting anything. Sometimes I, I like my resting state of my batteries to be around 3.8 volts per cell on most of my like 3S and 4S planes that I'm flying. But this guy's gonna get consistently a three and a half to five minute flight time, depending on what battery you're flying on. Now, if you push a 6,000 milliamp or 7,000 milliamp battery, my guess is you might get a six to seven minute flight time. It's, it's just gonna be a little bit low. It's not an efficient flyer, but when it's in the air, it is beautiful. It's a head turner. Who doesn't love this? I mean, we can just set this out at an air show or fly in and not even fly it and people are gonna drool over it. That's how good it looks. I'm impressed, I'm in love with it. I'm so happy this exists. I love that gray F-16, but this is 10 times nicer, right? Like the drool, I think, did you guys check where you're sitting or wherever you're watching the video right now? Yeah, that pool of drool, uh, I think says, we all agree, this is amazing. <laughs> and so if you're in love with this the way we are, we'll have it linked in the description box below. Uh, guys, this, this is just a home run and a half. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Has a strange tendency when I drop those doors. I think we're just getting a little extra drag. Maybe, I, I don't know. It's only my third flight in now. So overall, I'm, I'm really happy with everything. I'm doing more with my brain 
reverse thrusting and you know trying to work that into the whole process and uh, one of these days we'll mess with those flap runs too they they work just uh, my brain can't handle it too much <laughs> i'll overload it and we'll i just want this to come back in one piece uh, so it'll be linked in the description box below remember using that link does help to support our channel and our family we also like to guide you guys and if you want to fly on the same radio i'm flying on yes you do need an eight channel radio for this to use all those uh, features so that'll be linked down there but also we'll have AMA linked down there if you're spending this kind of money on a jet with batteries and radios and chargers and all that you've got to fly with AMA it doesn't even cost what one of these batteries would cost for a whole year of insurance uh, I wouldn't consider flying anything especially something like this without being insured and so I highly encourage you guys to pick up AMA again it's the Academy of Model Aeronautics and, I, and they'll be linked down right around where the jet is in our description box and pinned comment <laughs> beautiful day guys beautiful day awesome day to be flying something like this those blue skies with a little bit of white clouds this thing just pops and i'm so happy we got to get in front of the camera and share this experience with you and for that i thank god i also want to say a massive thanks to our patreon supporters because without you we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it you are truly amazing and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts we will have a very quick but fun flight of this jet where Abby almost caused me to crash this thing. Oh my ah, God. That video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.